All right, so we've got a bit of a mailbag video to do here. As you can see, I've got a few packages. Um, a lot more than I was expecting, so it's a bit odd. Um, yeah. Was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages? I was only expecting, I don't know, four? So I'm not quite sure what's in all these things. We'll find out. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, right, okay, now I know what these are. I've won a whole bunch of auctions recently. Um, the, it's like an electronics supplier has gone out of business. Um, down south somewhere and um, there's a whole bunch of stock online and I managed to win some auctions of some of these items so this particular one here is a whole bunch of fuses loads and loads of fuses different ones uh, set of 5 amp That's 5 amp as well. Yeah. So we'll see. It might have been the same size. I think there were some variants ones. So these, I think these are 1 amp. Just like 1 amp there. So these are all. Um, what size are they? 32 mil. Fast blow. This was my net one at least. What's this one here? 1 amp as well. It's like the same ones. Uh, another one amp packet. These all probably all stay the same size yet. With the 32 mil ones, I actually need a um, 25 mil. But these are the ones which caught my interest here. What are these? 600 volt, uh, one amp, one amp fuses. Whole bunch of these. I actually need some of this type, but in a um, 20 mil package. What size are these ones? I think I only paid about five dollars for these, or maybe ten dollars, something like that. It was not much at all. Uh, that's 0.5 amp. So it's like a lifetime supply of fuses. And here we go. This is the size I need. If these are 12 amp. It'd be brilliant, but I don't think they are somehow. Uh, 2.5 amp. These ones here. 20 amp. There we go. Multimeter fuses. <laughs> those alone were worth the whole paying the whole lot. Just those ones there. You know. Brilliant. Uh, what's in here? 0.15 amp. So these are really good for like um, bits of test gear. You know. Um, we have to change them for the voltage ratings. So look at these ones. I think this might be 20 mils. I can get the thing open. Come on, I'm sure I'll cut it. No, it is a 32s. But, uh, that's okay. Get back in here. Yeah. Sure it needs it anyway, but we'll just keep it together. No, that's just 1232, so yeah, okay, 32 mil. Right, we've got the last one here, which is 1232.15 as well, so they the same ones. So, we have an auction score. Um, these are what I saw, and those are what I was actually after was these. Um, although, nothing I've got any meters yet which use them, but I know they're, they're a bit expensive, so. Um, and I've got these ceramic fuses, you know, these are good as well, they'll have good uses, I'm sure. Okay. I just looked at the invoice, I paid uh, $67 for that lot. Still, considering that, it's still not bad, really. Um, 
I don't know why I thought it was only ten dollars. Maybe I think of something else, but uh, maybe it's my original bid. <laughs> Sixty-seven bucks. All those fuses. I mean, that's all right. I'll use them all eventually, or if I don't, I'll sell them on. So, what's this lot? These are push-button switches. I paid seventeen dollars for these. Okay. Now these I saw because I'm thinking, ah, oh, these would be good for equipment switches, replacement switches. Like when I've done work on, I think it's Roden Swartz. Um, was it that or Boonton? No, what the hell was it? There's a couple of bits of gear I purchased of, um, and I had to replace the power switches on them. And I had a couple which happened to fit, but that's all I had. So now I've got a few more. Um, I figured that you know I'd pay 17 bucks for one switch. Well, now I've got a few more than one. Okay, so we've got a few, so four different types of switches, and a 17, which is slightly again, there's only one of those. So, yeah, I'm not going to be short of switches now, am I? So that's pretty good. So next one I need to replace one, I've got one. <laughs> and chances are I've got the right one too. So that's brilliant. Right, let's see what's in this one. Ah, various screwdrivers. Now, what did I pay for this? I paid $41 for this lot. And it's an assortment of, well, 19 screwdriver assortment. Now what I saw, some of these are not interested in, but there are some nice things in here which I saw. Now, obviously IC puller comes in handy. A Pro's kit, little mini screwdriver. Like, yeah, could be handy for something, I suppose, to turn it around. Little mini pair of pliers, I saw those, oh, yeah, that'd be quite nice. Little mini ones, sprung. Tweezer set, not so worried about that because I've got a bunch of tweezers anyway. We've got a whole bunch of torque screwdrivers here, um, different sizes. And also some posi drive ones, some quite nice looking sets. Lay those out. And we have a little punch down tool thing, stripper punch down tool. Yeah, you know, they're okay. Nice little uh, cutting tool, apparently. Let's have a look to see what this she looks like. Say, Heiko, is that your Heiko cutter? <laughs> wow, okay. Well, these are not cutters. If they are cutters, they don't have any blades on them. <laughs> they're, they're more like pliers. There's no there's no actual blade on there. Which is interesting. Use safety glasses, really? Mm, okay. So, it's just cutting tool, but there's no blade. It's like a little pair of pliers, really. But I think they're supposed to be a cutting tool, which is interesting. Maybe there's, I forgot to put the edges on it or something. I don't know. But I don't know. I really should look into that one edge is supposed to be. That isn't one of the things we're looking for. Whilst you know, I saw this, all these screwdriver sets, you know, you always need nice screwdrivers. Now, this is the other thing I saw was this. Uh, yeah. Ceramic tip driver. This is one of the reasons I went for this lot. Okay. So, you've got ceramic tips on here. So, there's a crosshead. Flat blade, another flat blade, another crosshead. I don't know if they've got sizes on them. 
they are different. That's got like a flat bottom on it, which hopefully you can see. Those look very similar. Oh, one's wider than the other. That one's slightly wider than that one. So, yeah, that's basically what it is. I'm not quite sure how you'd store them. I mean, you can do one. Maybe take the other bit. No, you can't do that, can you? So you have, like, what are you supposed to do this one? <laughs> I suppose you just use the one you want to use, though. Um, which one am I most likely to use? be honest, probably that one, actually. That's probably the most likely one. So, anyway. But, of course, you can actually use them without the actual script, without this piece at all. You could use it as is, like that. And in fact, that's probably how I'm going to end up using them. So I should just put this away, to one side. So this is what I saw mainly was these ceramic tips. Oh yeah, those would be good. It's always handy having ceramic drivers. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll just tidy up this mess and go on to the next thing. Okay, next thing. This one's a bit heavier than the rest. <laughs> yeah. This is a assortment of crimp terminals. Now I paid $103 for this. Yeah. So let's untangle this. So I figured that if I buy crimp terminals, I might be paying, you know, maybe 50 cents each if I can, depending on where I can get them from, and maybe might be 10 cents each. I figured that hey, 1500, that's not bad. You can pay 100 bucks for that lot if you get them cheap. So we've got a range here. Got some bullet terminals, females, some blue splices, more blue splices, more blue splices, splices, splice, splice. Uh, female bullets, uh, splices, more splices, splice, 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 and splice. Now, are those a lot of splices? That's good because I actually need more splices. <laughs> so, that is not bad. Um, you know, you think 100, well, this is definitely it's New Zealand dollars, not US dollars. So, you make it, oh, that's really expensive. Actually, it's New Zealand dollars, is a bit cheaper. Um, not worth as much. Next thing. Another screwdriver set. This is 15 assorted screwdrivers. That's very much like the first set. And I got these for $23. So these were cheaper than the previous lot. Um, So, or more tweezers. Uh, we've got some different, uh, what's this, torques? Yeah, torque spits. That's a security torques. Uh, it's another one of those ceramic adjusters. Same as the first one. Yep, same one as the first one. So I've got two sets of those now. Another IC polo. Another stripper tool, and a bunch more of these. So this, this one, this is a really small drive, that one there. That's a little flat blade, one mil. 2.4 mil flat blade. 35. Went up with a zero cross head, I should say. Um, Phillips number one. Torx 15. Security Torx tip. Um, set Torx 20. Security Torx. All Security Torx sets. That's another one there. Torx 9. And a Phillips 0. 
So I've got heaps of those little screwdrivers now, and another one of these things, which will be the same as the first one. So it's very similar to the first set, but cheaper. Um, again, it's one of these things, you know, you should, I'm stocking up whilst I can. Whilst the opportunity is there. Okay, something else. Oh my god, what's in here? Okay. It's a community housing. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. Don't know. Must be something in there. I'll have to figure that out later. I don't want to go through too much, but a bunch of housings. I don't want housings. This is another set of switches. Another bunch of those. It's another 17. 19. So I've got these other. Yeah, it's basically another bunch of switches. Um, but it's also come with these extra. What's that? DB9 housing, is it? A um, bunch of those. I don't, need, I don't want those. If anyone has a, has a need for DB9 housings, I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Um, well, it could be switch housings, could they? No, it'll be. I don't know for them anyway. Just, if someone has a need for them, they can identify exactly what they are, then let me know. You can bloody have them. Uh, whole bunch of switches. Just like before. Loads and loads of switches. Loads of them. Um, there you go. Another cup here. Switch 19, apparently. It's a nice clunky one. What's it rated at? 25 amp. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Keystone insert. Yellow RCA to RCA. Interesting. Um, DC socket. All kinds of stuff in here. It's not just switches, the looks of it. But it's mostly switches. Uh, and there's another keystone socket there. BNC, the BNC. Oh, that could be convenient. Um, what else we got? What's in here? Another switch, I think. Yeah, another, another chunky switch. Sit on there. 8 amp again. Same thing. Oh, backup battery. Interesting. It's a TO, yeah, 2032 backup battery. Sold with legs on it. That could be handy. Um, sure, I'd pick a test gear somewhere which needs one of them. Should be still okay. Loads of switches. Yeah, another chunky one here. Yeah. Heaps. So I think I've done quite well out of these. Um, I haven't seen an invoice in this one, interestingly. Maybe it's a continuation of the first set. Could be, who knows. But, right. Look at this in. Heaps of stuff. 